In this video, we're going to walk through ways that you can create a custom QR code right here in Canva. So I'm going to show you two ways that I found that you can create a custom QR code. If you know of maybe a different way to create a custom QR code, please let me know down in the comment section. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to be in our Canva home screen here. And for those of you that don't know, which I'm sure many of you know, but in case you don't know, if you're an educator, Canva gives you a education account for free and it gives you access to all their pro features and stuff. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description with more information on that. So if you're an educator and you want to use Canva and you want all the pro features for free, um, make sure you sign up for an education account. Okay, so back to creating our custom QR codes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on create a design and let's do just a QR code business card. Now, once we have our business card kind of set up here, I'm going to search for an element and let's do, um, let's look for mountains. And this looks like a good photo to you. So I'm going to go ahead and use this photo. We'll go ahead and we'll, you know, you can stretch it out. You can do whatever you like. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of center it here. And so now what I can do is I can come up here into the share button and I can click on share. I can go down to more. Underneath more, there's this option here for QR code. If I click on QR code, it's going to ask me for my URL. So we're just going to type in google.com. And you'll notice that now this QR code is pulling in the image that we have in Canva and it's going to generate a QR code from it. So if I click generate QR code, now you can see we have our image here that we have here in Canva, but it's a, it's our own little custom QR code. I can download this. It'll download it as an image file so I can post it on a website. I can post it in my Google classroom. I can print it out and physically post it in my classroom. So students or parents or whoever can scan it with their device and it will take them to the URL that we have designated for this QR code, which in this case is just google.com, but you can, you know, customize that for your school website, your classroom website, a specific article that you want the students to read, something like that, you can do that. Another way that I have found that you can create a custom QR code here in Canva, underneath elements here, I'm going to search for QR code. And here I can use the app to create a QR code. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to type in my URL. use google.com again. You can see here that it has generated a QR code. I'm going to click generate QR code. Now it's going to put this onto Canva for me. And now it's just like a normal element. I can drag it around. I can resize it. So I'm going to make this kind of bigger here. I'm going to also crop this down to get rid of some of the extra white space around the edges and just kind of crop it down here like that. I'm going to do the same thing to my image and I'm going to crop my image down to the same size as my QR code. And so now my QR code is behind here. And what I can do now is I can come up here to transparency and I can adjust the transparency of the QR code that's on top of my image. And what you'll see now is that my image is coming through behind it. So now I have this QR code with my mountains in the background. And now that I'm thinking about it, it probably would have been better to choose a square canvas instead of a rectangular canvas because when we download it, it's going to download this white space behind here too. But um, there we go. That's how you can create custom QR codes right here within Canva for free. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. 
I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.